a typewriter. Who still types on a typewriter? A keyboard. That's what I meant to say. A keyboard. What? What's up, everybody? This is Scott. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing two separate microphones from a company called 512 Audio, which is a sub company from a brand called Warm Audio. And these two microphones that we're talking about today are the Limelight, which is exactly what you hear right now, and the Skylight, which you will be hearing from here in a little bit. Both of these microphones at the time of this recording is going to set you back $199. Now, one is a condenser microphone that requires phantom power. Power, and that's this guy right here, the Skylight, while the other, the Limelight, is a dynamic microphone not requiring phantom power. I'm going to splash up on the screen right now everything that I'm recording at so from a gain perspective, running everything through my Rodecaster Pro right now. I do have a FET head plugged in as well, so I can turn the gain down a little bit because I'm normally recording with an SM7B that requires just a little more oomph but these microphones don't require that. During the video, I'm gonna give some quick tech specs on both of them, the look and the feel of them, and then do some sound comparisons uh, as well. After that, I'm gonna give you my opinion on uh, both if you should buy them or you should consider them for your particular home studio. First, let's talk about this guy right here, and this is the Limelight. According to the website, the Limelight delivers exceptional clarity for podcasts, broadcasts, and live streams. Limelight is a dynamic studio microphone custom tuned for voice and speech, featuring a hyper-focused pickup pattern, a built-in pop shield, um, and I have a clown nose on it right now, I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit, and a low frequency filter, the Limelight captures the nuance in your voice and cuts out any unwanted noise. Bring the clear, natural audio of your broadcast home studio into your home setup, but here's one thing I want you to listen for right now. You probably hear that fan. That is the fan of my MacBook Pro right on the other side of this microphone. So uh, this is kind of an untreated space. Needless to say, it definitely does pick up some more things uh, that I would rather it not pick up, which includes the fan of a MacBook Pro. The Limelight is a hypercardioid polar pattern with a frequency range of 50 hertz to 15,000 kilohertz, sensitivity of minus 54 dB, and impedance of 600 ohms. Now that polar pattern is, according to their website, a hyper-focused pickup pattern that's nearly 20% narrower than the standard cardioid microphone. Limelight captures your voice while rejecting any unwanted room noise around you, but again, I'm not quite sure about that. I'm not really quite sure that that's true either. So again, I'm going to tell you when we get to the tapping on the desk and all these other jazz and things of that nature. Now let's move to the skylight and that's gonna require me to switch microphones. So let's switch microphones really quick. Now onto the skylight. According to the website, skylight delivers the rich and warm tones that you want to achieve a podcast, musical vocals, or streaming with a 34 millimeter gold-plated condenser capsule voice-tailored frequency response and a cardioid pickup pattern. The skylight captures your voice with exceptional fullness and clarity. This includes a professional looking metal mesh and a pop filter and a custom low profile shock mount. And it'll help you cut through the voice through the mix free from distancing explosives and plosives or any low end rumble or anything like that. Skylight delivers true studio sound, no studio required. And let me just put this back down on the table because I was hand holding it there for a second and just listen. Can you still hear the fan? The Skylight is a cardioid polar pattern with a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, sensitivity of minus negative 42 dB and an impedance of 200 ohms. Now the look and the feel between the two of them, I'm still on the Skylight right now. The, the Limelight right now is a microphone that comes in at 379 grams or just a little less than a pound and it was made of some sort of like crazy light metal but honestly it doesn't feel like metal at all now i'm going to switch back to this one that this should just be the limelight that you can hear so i'm going to set this one down <clears throat> and this is really where i want to start to do uh, some of the crazy tests the limelight feels like cheap by comparison to some of the other microphones like the SM7B, the MV7X, the PodMic from Rode. The Rode feels significantly more well-built in comparison as does all the other ones that I just mentioned and especially its brother or sister, the Skylight as well. 
And I think that adds to some of the issues that I had exactly with the limelight here because it feels and it seems like it picks up more noise and more taps from my desk and things of that nature and keystrokes. So with that said, let's do a little bit of test by tapping on the desk, tapping on the microphone and tapping on what I think is a Logitech keyboard that's actually pretty quiet as well. One thing you'll know that if I take off the clown nose from the plosives perspective, the P's and the S's and the T's are a little more, uh, a little more harsh, I guess you could say, which is why I put a clown nose on it. Uh, but you can hear a lot of the feedback that I have with this particular microphone. And so another issue that I have with the limelight itself is the fact that it didn't come with a clown nose. I just happened to have one on it and I just popped it on because of they said they have one built in specifically with this microphone. And so I just didn't like the fact that it didn't have a clown nose to be considered. So long story short, I shoved the clown nose on it. Now this is the exact opposite of the limelight, which the skylight is a big chunky boy that weighs significantly more. As a matter of fact, this whole setup right here in my hand is 2.2 pounds or a thousand grams or one kilogram, so to speak. If you're here in the US, it's 2.2 pounds. Now the skylight feels so much more quality in comparison because it's so chunky. Now I know it may sound weird, but being that there's more heft seems to add to more quality, especially when you compare it to things like the SM7B, the MV7X, the Rode PodMic, and then also myself because I am hefty, therefore I am of higher quality. Opposite of the issues by tapping on the microphone is the skylight, which is where it adds the weight. I think that helps a tremendous amount. So I'm gonna set this down on my desk and I'm gonna tap on my desk right now. And I'm tapping on the shock mount. So as you can hear, it's a lot better in my personal opinion with this guy not even on a boom arm uh, versus this guy, which is actually on a boom arm, even if it was on my desk. So now that we've talked about the physical specs of the microphone and now it's time to do some comparison. So this is exactly what the Skylight sounds like right now. So let's do a uh, Skylight first and then I'll switch to the Limelight and then I'll switch to a uh, Rode PodMic and MV7X from Shure and a Shure SM7B so you can hear exactly what those comparisons sound like. Unique New York. Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Unique New York. Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Unique New York. Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Now this is the Shure MV7X. Unique New York. Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Now this is the Shure SM7B. Unique New York. Unique New York. The Human Torch was denied a bank loan. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Now let's talk about from a recommendation perspective. If we're talking about just the sound perspective from both of these microphones, both are really, really great. However, when it comes down to the value at the price, that's where I have to start wondering if the value is truly there. For a hundred bucks uh, or half the price of these two microphones, you can get very similar sounding, nice, warm, vibrant tones that have less impacts when it comes to the taps from like the limelight perspective. The sound from the skylight and it being a condenser mic makes it a little bit more someone speed for the $199 price point. Honestly, I would have to say overall from the 5112 line, the skylight versus the limelight would be the one that I would choose. I tend to like the sound a little bit more. It seems a little bit more warm and vibrant, not so muddy in the middle when it comes to the mid-tones or anything like that. I have a, a lower voice, so I don't notice like a nasally or anything like that from a sound perspective on the skylight. And I, not that I notice it at all when it comes to the limelight. It just seems a little bit higher according to my ears. I just really like the tones so much more out of the skylight than I do the limelight. Overall, I would say these microphones are really, really good, uh, but, but they're kind of at a challenging price point perspective. I would have a hard time recommending them over like a $100 pod mic or even the $179 Shure MV7X. But if I were to recommend one, I would actually say 
this one right here, the skylight specifically would be the one that I would recommend versus the limelight because the limelight just feels cheaper to me. Um, it picks up again, all the taps and the dips and the doodles and the things like that you hear from on the desk or typing on a typewriter, a typewriter who still types on a typewriter, a keyboard. That's what I meant to say. A keyboard. What? But yeah, if I were to make a recommendation, this would be the one that I would recommend from 512 Audio, which would be the Skylight at $199 price point. I have a hard time recommending the Limelight at $199. So that's it. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time.